Hummers everywhere. Big, big lot distribution out here in the middle of nowhere. About the side of Walmart one. There's a Walmart distribution out there too. I'll tell you when we can see it, because it's going to be a few more minutes. All right. Uh, back over your shoulder that way, and you'll see, it's going to be still a minute, but you'll see like a big crack all through the... Um, rolling yeah there might be a better view too after this next little hill right here too so I just need to look keep it pointed it's right smack in the middle of the valley in between I got you but it might be more visible here after we get past this little thing right here and naturally there's a truck coming up If you ever zoom in on something, there's somebody's big head right in the way. <laughs> I didn't see it, did you? I didn't see anything. You got a whole lot of video of nothing. It's there. And of Where course, we got another side? truck. So we missed it now. Did we miss it or? It's well, it's, it's straight back that way, but I think yeah, I think we're past it. Now. It's hard to see. Some days it's very obvious. You can see it going like this, and other days it's too uh, overcast or. Yeah. Yeah, I see the fall up there. There you go. Oh yeah, there it is. Can you zoom in on it? Yeah, I got it. San Andreas fall. See it like this. Yeah. Amazing. That's where the big earthquake's going to come, and California's going to fall into the ocean. That's good. There's, there's parts of it that need to be in the ocean. Yeah, it looks like a, a trail, like a walking trail. It's a San Andreas Fault. So how, yeah, okay, Interesting. wow. Interesting. That's cool right there, man. I saw poison there, rat there. I saw Vince Neal there. I've seen a bunch of shows there. This is what it was called. It should be telling you to take this exit here to the right. Yeah, it is safe. Go right. So the big green field that you're going to see. So that green field you see off to the right, right over there. We're probably going around this bend. We'll be able to get a good shot of it. Yeah, I can't see it. There, there, there it, is. it is. That is the where the US Festival happened. What years, Rick? Uh, I think 82 and 83 or 83, 84 or somewhere in that. I know 83 for sure. Uh, US Festival, the, the Glen Halen Pavilion, the US Festival. Motley Crue played there. Ozzy Osbourne, Van Halen, every big 80s hair band, but everybody's played there. It's a very popular concert venue here. San Bernardino. Stuff here. Should be taking the four out. Let's see, the exit 123 is down on this side. Yeah, you can hear this head there. The stage is to the right. Can you see the green, the green field? If yeah. We'll get another look at it. Yeah, I could see this. I believe the stage over there. So you brought Al DeVorn, the guy that said, Elvis has left the building. Yes. And you dropped him off at that casino, 29 Palms, and he died the next day. Two days later. Two days later. Mm -hmm. On his way back. And he was doing Vegas. a show there with Paul Casey, the guy that we saw at the awards. Yeah. Of course. Ed, Ed Bonja was there, and um, uh, uh, what's her name there? Uh, the, the female Memphis Mafia. Patty Perry. Patty Perry. She was there. There were quite a few Elvis people there, and it was for a show with Paul Casey. I dropped him off here, and he was on the way back two days later. Because the show was the next day, and then the next morning they left to go back to Las Vegas so Al could fly home to Chicago and was killed in an automobile accident on the way back. 
from out, out here somewhere. Dude, this is Palm Springs. Yeah. Well, it gets better. I've always thought <laughs> of Palm Springs. Yeah, I've heard it a million times. Yeah, I've never yeah. been here. So notice this, the architecture is a lot of single story buildings and they have the, the retro look as they're not retro, they were that's how they were built. So yeah. they, mm -hmm. it was modern at the time. This that is what Lucy and Elvis yes. all saw. It looks retro now, but it's actually mm -hmm. you see a lot of this single story storefronts, you know, little strip mall things like that. And they're they're all from the mid sixties. So friends, this house right here was owned by Lucille Ball and Desi Arnaz. It is actually an Airbnb now. You can rent this place for eight seventy-five a night. And they won the land that this is on, Desi did, in a poker game. Which is pretty, pretty crazy. Eleven ninety four. And sadly, everything in Palm Springs appears to be too close to the to the airport, so I cannot fly the drone at all. And this place, if you look, is at the corner of Paseo El Mirador and Via Mirales. And I'll put some information about how to do the Airbnb and all that fun stuff. But this is the place. Lucy and Desi live here. And look at that mountain view. In one of the photos, you can see those mountains behind. Look at this thing on the roof. Look at that thing there on the roof. So they did own this house during the time that they were on I Love Lucy. Lucy and Desi. And they also had a resort here that they built that had a golf course. And that's where Desi would run to when he was doing the Desi. Yeah, that brick fence is original. Very nice. Very cool. <laughs> it's 109 now, 336. Yeah. And it's just a blazing 109, the door is locked. <clears throat> A blazing 109. I mean, it's a it's a beatdown 109. So make sure when you're watching the Weekly Spa Guy, you subscribe, you give me a big thumbs up if you like the video, and watch the Weekly Spa Guy, friends. Thank you.